Hi, Les from Thailand here, retired and living the dream. And today's video is going to be a requested video by a few people as to how much have I spent on various projects at Ploy's Farm. And I've made an ebook. For those who are interested, I've made this ebook. It's about visiting Thailand and what you can get out of it and what to look for, what to do, how to save some money. So for those people who are subscribed to the channel, send me an email on this link below and I'll send you a free copy of this ebook that I made. It's quite interesting and informative for those people who are deciding to come to Thailand. Uh, now me and Ploy have been together now for six years and yes, we've, we've worked at Ploy's farm. Every time we go, we go for two or three weeks at a time, sometimes a month. And I like to think that every time we go, I do a little bit of work at Ploy's farm. Um, so again, we've been together six years in July, so I'm going to go through what we've actually spent. And not in a, any particular order, but with regard to over the six years, how much we've spent. So okay, we're starting off with the washing machine, and the car part, the insulation for the house, that's for everything, to insulate the whole house, the living room, bedrooms, and kitchen, and bathroom and toilets. Uh, the kitchen and bathroom ceiling for the metalwork and also the plasterboards. Uh, the shower cubicle that we made in the bathroom because before the shower used to be over the bath and I never really liked standing in the bath for a shower so we had a shower cubicle made. The water, the water tank and the pump. Now it was coming off the town supply and this was hit and miss so we decided the fact that we're going to have a water tank and this actually serves our house and employees, mum and dad's house as well. So there's always a water supply for us whilst we're there and also employees, mum and dad. And we had a gate made, and employees, dad made the gate. Uh, the paint for inside and outside the house. Now, you'll see some of the early photographs. It was a, like a creamy colour, the house before, and we repainted the whole house inside and out. And the two biggest expenses, which we'll come on to towards the end of the video, was the lakes. We made a small lake at the back of Ploy's house, and we made a much, much bigger lake at Ploy's mum and dad's other farm and I'll go through the prices and you'll see some pictures of that later on in the video. Okay, let's start off with, this is going back six years ago now, and as I say, this is the first time that we went up to, to Ploy's mum and dad, and I sort of knew from the first minute that I met Ploy that we were going to be together forever. So this thing about um, meeting the love of your life and falling in love and instant attraction, it does happen, and it does happen here in Thailand. And I wasn't wrong on that date that we first met, and I'm still not wrong now. So whilst we were staying at Ploy's house, it was about 85% finished. So therefore, no hotel bills. So I was quite happy with that, and it's in a nice area. And Ploy's mum and dad are very, very friendly and, and receptive to a foreigner coming to, to visit them. So as we were staying there the week, first impressions count. So we, we decided to buy them a washing, because they did all the washing by hand. So... So the washing machine was my very, very first purchase with regard to living with Ploy. And we bought her mum and dad this washing machine. They were over the moon with it, because now they didn't have to wash everything by hand. Basic washing machine, 5,000 baht. So as you see in this photograph here, at the side of the house, there was no car part at the time. So we parked the, the car next to the house and it was in the sun all day. So the sun and a car just heats up the car all the time and it makes it very, very hot. And it also, the sun was shining on the side of the wall, which made the house very hot also. So within a couple of years of being together, I decided to put a car part on the side of the house and this did two fold things. It stopped the sun from heating the house up, which stopped the heat transferring into the house, which is very, very important. And it also give us shade for the car, so the car didn't heat up every time it was parked underneath, and it gives plenty of room for storage. So as you can see in this picture here, Ploy's dad did all the work to it. The tiles matched the tiles that were already on the house, and the cost for this was 20,000 baht. Now Ploy's dad did all the work towards this, so we didn't pay any labour costs, just the cost of materials. And as Ploy's dad in his early days was a builder, 
he's a perfectionist and everything was done perfect. So now moving inside of the house, another job that we did was insulation. And by putting the carport on, it stopped the sun from warming some of the walls up. So therefore it stopped that heat transferring into the house. But the heat was still coming, coming through the roof. So I decided again to make the house a little bit more comfortable by putting this insulation in. And as you can see, we've got the insulation and also the silver foil that we were going to put in the kitchen and the bathroom and the toilet area to reflect the sun away from the ceiling. So for the cost of this insulation and the, the, the foil below, for everything to insulate the whole house, that was the living room, the two bedrooms, and also the kitchen area and the bathroom and the toilet area was 16,000 baht in total and that was for the insulation and it took us maybe a, a day to insulate the roof. Um, now the, the, the tiles here are then pop-up tiles so getting access to the roof was quite easy and once we insulated the whole roof, boy did that make a difference. That heat wasn't conducted into the room at all and that with the car park for me are the two biggest money saving or comfort saving things that we ever did in Ply's house and it was it just makes a difference it doesn't cool the house down but it makes the house less hot because of that convection of the heat traveling through the walls and also traveling through the ceiling is reduced so we always have the windows and the doors open on the house anyway so there was always an airflow so Ploy's house was never ever really too hot and the only things that we had were fans in the living room and in the bedroom we had an air conditioning unit which was already there and we put that on for half an hour on the evening and we have a fan all night. So do that, shade all the walls and also put the insulation, that makes a huge difference. Now we also put a, a shower cubicle in, or Ploy's dad put a shower cubicle in we used to have a shower over the bath and I didn't particularly like the showers over the bath so I asked Ploy's dad to put a shower cubicle in. Now again, the cost of that was minimal really. All the tiles don't match, it's a bit of a mismatch type of thing but having that simple shower cubicle makes a huge difference, a nice big shower area and the cost of that was a couple of thousand baht so very, very cheap to do. Now one of the other expenditures that we had was because it's town's water Sometimes it was a hit and miss affair, the water was on, sometimes it wasn't. So we decided to get a, a 2,000 litre water tank and a pump. Now this provides the water for Ploy's house and it also provides the water up to Ploy's mum and dad's house. So they always have water now pumped into their house also. It serves two purposes. Whilst we're not there, Ploy's mum and dad have use of the water that are stored in the tank as well. And we put it on a, a metre high plinth. Now what was this for in case the electricity went out? and the water by gravity would actually flow into the house as well so obviously electricity in the countryside goes off quite regular so by putting it on a plinth which is only a metre high it gives you a bit of head and there's a bit of water that will come out fill the toilets and the wash basins if the electricity failed. Now the cost of the 2,000 litre water tank and the pump was 7,000 baht altogether. Again Ploy's dad did the plinth he had some spare blocks there and sand and cement and filled it up and it, it's a solid plinth for it to sit on. And one of the latest acquisitions that we had, we had a, a gate made for the entrance of Ploy's farm. And again, Ploy's dad, he's such a perfectionist, he made this gate, he made it all by hand. And the total cost for this gate was 10,000 baht, all handmade to the specifications that was for our opening. So he did all the work free of charge and 10,000 baht in material. And as you can notice on, on the first the house was cream so we painted the whole outside of the house in a in a sun reflective paint. Special paint which stops the UV rays from trying to warm the house up. So again that in addition with the insulation it makes a huge difference on the house, so it reflects, it reflects some of the UV light which stops warming the bricks up on the house in the first place, so it keeps the house cool. So now comes to the two biggest expenses that we paid with regard to Ploy's house. Now in Karat, water is like gold dust, so therefore if you have amounts of water storage and that, you're in a good position with regard to growing crops and things like that. Now there was 14 rye outside the back of Ploy's house, 
and it, we already had a small lake there and we discussed with Ploy's mum and dad about the installation of either a borehole or a lake and roughly it was going to cost about the same amount of money, 30 odd thousand baht for a borehole or 30 odd thousand baht for a lake. Uh, Ploy's dad elected to have the lake because by having the lake then he could grow his own fish so therefore it became self-sufficient with regard to fish and that's worked very very well. He also stated by having a lake you can actually physically see how much water is there as opposed to having a borehole where you'll never see how much water you've got and it might run out and it might not run out but with a lake you can see what's in the lake and obviously you can grow your fish as well so we did that. Now this lake at the back of the house came up to 40,000 baht at the end of the day and the extra 10,000 baht cost was because we hired trucks to remove the spoil and actually what we did was Ploy's grandmother lived just around the corner in the village. Ploy's grandmother's land always flooded in the rainy season so what we did we used the spoil from this lake to raise the land level up in Ploy's grandma's plot of land. So now her plot of land never floods in the rainy season. So we paid extra 10,000 baht to get the trucks to, t to take it from the lake down to Ploy's grandma's house and dump it and for a, a tractor to spread the spoil. And then coming on to the second lake. This lake here is a much, much bigger lake. And to give you a rough idea, it's about one rye in size. And as you can see this picture, it's very, very, very deep. Now this one only cost 30,000 baht because we didn't get rid of the spoil. What he did, he just built the banks up around the side of the, around the, side of the lake and now we've got trees planted there, fruit trees, and it, you can see it's very, very, very deep. Now we had a, the big digger that came and made the lake. It took him three days to do it and the whole cost to that lake was 30,000 baht. And what a difference that makes as well. Again, because he has his own fish supplies in there. He sells the fish that grow in that lake. So by spending a little bit of money, it returns dividends because he has his own fish and he also has now plenty of water to grow some better crops that are more water dependent. So he gets more money back for his crops. And it's a win-win situation for not a lot of money. And then because we we go to play his mum and dad's fairly often. We bought a little scooter just so we can go to the market and back and one thing to another. And again, 23,000 baht for a little scooter, a little Fino scooter. And the tiles that we're just going to put on the outside of this house here now, um, just to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, that was another 5,000 baht. But Ploy's dad's going to do the tiling to the front of the house and the side of the house. So in total, of six years of being together, the money that we've spent on Ploy's house is roughly 181,000 baht. Not an awful lot to pay over a six year period, but we've got an awful lot of work done. And there's still a little bit more to do. It's about 95% finished now. So there's more work to do now. The whole house is about 95% finished and we're very, very happy with the results. And we're in no rush really now to, to get it finished because we bought this house in Rayong and there's a little bit of money to spend on the house here in Rayong. So if you've got any questions, send us an email down below. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'd be interested in your comments. Please subscribe and watch my other videos. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Till the next time, bye for now.